Hey there you guys, welcome back to my channel, today I'm gonna be showing you how to play Bloodborne on PC using PS4 emulator. So first things first, we're gonna be downloading the PlayStation 4 emulator called Shade PS4, link in description. We're gonna be looking for Win64QT, that's the Windows version of the emulator. Click on the link and you'll be having that downloading on your browser. Next thing we'll be downloading, Visual C++, we'll be looking for the x64 version. If you have that already installed on your system, just skip this step. Another thing we're gonna be needing is an extracting software. You can use WinRAR or 7-zip. I usually use WinRAR. Skip this step if you have it already. Put the files together for better navigation. Now, first thing we're gonna do is to install Visual C++. I have it already installed. If you don't have this installed on your system, you'll be seeing a bit different window. Just check the box and click on install do the same thing with winrar i i do have that installed too so i'm just gonna skip this when you're done installing visual c plus plus and winrar or 7zip or whatever you have just delete them you don't need them anymore now right click on shade ps4 file then winrar x then extract to shade ps4 click on that Wait just a few seconds. It should look like this when it's done. You can delete the original files, but uh, I prefer to keep it just in case. Create a new folder. We're gonna name that games. We will install our games here. And launch Shade PS4. It should look like this first time starting it. Oh, wait. It will ask you the directory to install games, click browse and select the folder we just created. Now with Shade PS4 UI, click on settings. We need to make sure that the update channel is set to nightly and check for the updates at startup. Click apply and save. Jump to the graphics tab and graphic device and select your GPU and check the one thin right here called VBlank Divider. If you have a powerful PC that can run this game 120 FPS, set that to 2. Um, keep in mind at 1 for 60 FPS or 30 FPS. Click apply and save. Now the input tab, make sure that the motion controls are turned off. That can cause controller to get glitchy at 60 FPS. Next to the settings, click on the controller icon. With this update of Shade PS4, we can remap the controller. Also, you can use keyboard and mouse. Click on the keyboard icon and change whatever you want to change. Click apply and save when you are done. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you where you can get the game file from. You guys drop comments and help each other out. When you get your game, it should look like this. The base game version 1.0 and the update 109. Back to the PS, uh, I mean Shade PS4, click file, install packages and select the base game first. Do not select them both at once. The emulator will get glitched and stuff. Just select the base game and click open. Click OK. The game will take some time to install. When it's done, you'll be seeing this. Click OK. The game will appear as version 1.0 we're gonna do the same thing to update the game this time we will select the update not the base game the update 109 select it and click open click ok yes the game uh, the update will just take some seconds 
click OK and the game will turn into version 109. Right click on the game, cheat and patches and uh, click on Wolf and set that to Shade PS4 to download the game cheats but you need to be in game to use them as you can see I cannot use them because I'm not running the game click on patches tab choose Shade PS4 and download the patches check the first thing says skip intro you will need that if you want the game to run at 30 fps check Check 30 FPS box, disable chromatic abrasion, abrasion and the motion blur, enable the 60 FPS for playing the game at 60 FPS or above if you see the V-blank divider at 2 as I said before and disable the V-sync. If you have the game DLC you'll be having another box right here beneath the 60 FPS, uh, name it force and a Force enable old hunters DLC. Check that if you have it. I don't have it right here, so I'll just leave it. Scroll a bit more, you will find the resolution for this game. The game runs at 1080p on default. It's the reason why there is no 1080p option right here. I don't recommend you running the game at higher resolutions than 1080p, that will cause the game to glitch out even on high-end GPUs. If you have low performance in the game, you can switch to 720p. Make sure you only have one resolution patch enabled. And yeah, that's it. Before we install the mods, navigate to the games folder that we created first. CUSA numbers folder right click on dvd root ps4 and make a separate copy of the folder so in case you make a mistake you don't have to, to reinstall the game again when it's finished download the mods all the links in the description open your mod folder extract the mod called vertex explosion double click and and copy the folder name and parts navigate back to the games folder dvd root ps4 and copy that here replace the files the first mod is installed do the same thing with the second and the third mod extract them both and double click open it copy dvd roots ps4 and navigate back to the game folder paste it there if you are using an antl cpu install the antl fix mod no need to do that if you are an amd user the game sound glitches at 60 fps we can fix that by using another mod link in the description the mod name is Bloodborne Launcher or BB Launcher. Copy that into Shade PS4 folder. Once you have done that, extract it and open the BB Launcher folder and move the BB Launcher application to the emulator folder. Copy your folder address and open the BB Launcher. It will look like this the first time you open it. Click OK and paste this here and select shade ps4 application now go to bloodborne install folder and select your game folder after click on bb launcher settings and now we can see that the sound fix is already enabled and that's it to run the game click run or launch i mean Press F11 for full screen. The game usually takes a bit longer when launching it for the first time. And that's it. Hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next one.